Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and here we have a rather nice selection of products just delivered. So we have got here and forgive my pronunciation, I've watched a few videos and seen what people tend to say and people tend to say la me as the pronunciation, I don't know if that's correct or not. But what we have got here is a Lamy Vista, which is basically the Safari, but in a clear plastic finish. We've got and it sells a bottle of green ink and also a Lamy uh, piston cartridge converter. This is one of the twist ones. Now this, if we open it up and have a look, is replacing my Parker IM pen, which we can see just here. And the reason I'm upgrading from this is I find this has quite a lot of... Um, I don't know, a big delay in trying to start writing if it hasn't been used for a while. So that, unfortunately, is on its way out. And my goodness me, I've uh, just biked in from the little boat that I live on with this ink bottle in my bag. And every possible bump and everything that I could do to give that ink bottle a nice calm ride back into Oswald Street, I have done. So here is, if we peel off this label here. Go on, peel off nicely. Lovely. Here is our pen. Some of you may be familiar with how these are sent out, and that is, if we fetch this up close to the camera and allow us to focus on it. During shipping, the Lamy pens come with a little collar on made out of cardboard, and the reason that that's put on there is to stop the ink cartridge that's also included being screwed on by accident and then pressed and having all sorts of ink leakages everywhere. So if we take that off, you can see that it then just screws straight down like that. And fair play, even without a cartridge in there, I think that looks very nice indeed. There's a certain sort of futuristic feel, I think. I wasn't sure what colour to go for on the standard safaris until I ended up literally going for no colour at all. And as you can see, you can see all like the little bits of the very few basic workings that a fountain pen has and a little uh, nozzle that sticks up into the ink cartridge. That's been a quick close-up look at this, but as it's a see-through pen, there really isn't that much to see. So we shall pop the cartridge in and then have a look at this ink. Before we pop it in, this is a quick look at the cartridge itself. It is a nice simple twist action and I don't know if you can see on the camera, it just puts the plunger up and down when you twist. That's obviously nice and straightforward and simple. In the Parker IM, I also have a piston cartridge, but this one is one of the sliding ones and I found that you, you do tend to get ink on this inside part here that goes down into the inkwell. So that, quite often when I'm refilling this one, I do get ink all over me thumb and finger, so that's not ideal. So I'm hoping that having a twist one will definitely solve that problem. Right, it's a nice simple job. I'm sure that we all know how to pop a cartridge on. It is literally just, well, quite literally, pop a cartridge in. As you can see, if we just pop that down there, everything's all nicely secured. Obviously we're not going to put the back on yet until we've put some ink on it. But I think that this, especially with that nice red top there, this all is making a nice sort of, I don't know, a bit of a space age uh, package. Right, let's pop our uh, bottle of ink up here. Of course, being a Lamy one, it does come with this roll of blotting paper on the bottom here. So you can see the glass comes down into the middle and this plastic part slots on. This has got a nice roll of very absorbent sort of blotting paper. In fact, it's so absorbent it's got a pattern on the back. Um, and also, at various points, it's got little perforations so that you can pull off little bits nice and cleanly. Yeah, in fact, it's got to be said, considering that all I'm doing is looking at an ink bottle, it's actually quite impressive. <laughs> so, let's have a look. As you can see from the lid, this is green ink, 50 mils. And I'm not going to hold that up or do anything stupid and get caught pouring ink all over the desk on camera. As we've seen, the cartridge is already down. This is a tense moment, folks. can see that I've got about half of the ink in up there. I'm not going to try and uh, do it too wildly and cram it full on my first ever attempt. Use some of this blotting paper to get a little bit off just the end nib there. Right. I think that will do it. Let's pop this back part on. Definitely put the lid on the pot there. 
last thing we want is that going anywhere. <clears throat> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. What I quite like about this pen already, just from holding it now, is that it has these two flattened parts that you hold on to, and it feels like they're just in the right place, personally. Alright then, let's have a look. Oh, absolutely lovely. That is an inc that is far smoother than the Parker IM to write with. Doesn't feel very scratchy at all. This is a fine nib that I've got on here, and it's writing really well. I really like this green ink, definitely. Considering how dark ink always looks when it's in the bottle, you can see that instantly that's looking a lot more like the actual colour on the box and on the lid there. Right, what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know, Dan Brown. The narrowboat lad. Dot com. <laughs> well, that, I'm very impressed with how even at speed this is writing with a very even line. And not only do I love the ink colour, but the fact that this feels so smooth to write with, which definitely it's an instant thing that I notice compared to my experience with the Parker IM. Anyway, I'm getting all over excited, far too excited for what I'm doing. So I will say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for loads of random pens and notebooks and goodness knows what else. And of course, feel free to like the Facebook page, over a thousand likes over there. Check out my other videos for life on a narrowboat and all sorts of random things. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook or Twitter. And until the next time, keep it ink worthy and have a fantastic day. Farewell.